There he is. What's up, man? What's up? So, uh, you call yourself a realtor, huh? Apparently. Nice. <laughs> All right, well, let's see. I'm a 28-year-old kid, and I've always, like, thought about buying a house, but it seems like a pretty difficult thing to do. Yeah. And, uh, what do you... Like, I, I, I don't know. How do, how do I do it? What's the first step, man? So, yeah, by the way, it's my, my boy Bobby over here. Um, hey. Yeah, we were talking about this before I went on vacation, right? Mm-hmm. And we kind of got cut short. So you're asking me, what do you do, right? Yeah. It's a good question, man. There's a lot to do. And it's kind of overwhelming, a lot, a lot of factors into play. I would say, like, we would... Should I be looking at you or the camera? Me, probably. Okay. Okay. So I would say we would probably want to start with like, what are you looking for? Like, what is it in your current situation? Are you renting right now? Mm-hmm. Okay. Renting a room. Renting a room. So what is it in your situation that you don't have that you want, right? So you want yeah. a, your own place then? Yeah. Okay. So you want a house. We got to look at what kind of house do you need, right? Like, do you need... How many bedrooms, bathrooms, that's whatever. I don't like that answer. Yeah, like just single guy, 28 years old, I kind of just want like a bachelor pad, man. Just bachelor like a, con a condo or something. Maybe so where you can throw two. your free-flowing hair <laughs> yeah. everywhere. <laughs> like a two or three bedroom. But um, I don't know, I think the biggest draw for me is the financial aspect of it. Because yeah. renting feels like you're just throwing money away. Yeah. And... Um, I don't know. I think one of my biggest fears is that the market is going to repeat what it did in 2008. Yeah. Like the, uh, I just watched that movie, The Big Short. <laughs> yeah. you know? At the end of it, they did something. They said something at the end that not, it's probably going to happen again. Yeah. I don't know. What do you, what do you say about that? So about the market, I mean, like no one knows what's going to happen, right? I mean, do I personally think it's going to crash? I don't think so. Um, it doesn't look like. I think it's leveled off a little bit. But besides that, man, like let's get to your. Where do you start? So like, I think you need to like get with a lender first, right? Sit with them, uh, see your credit score, see what you qualify for, right? How much you want to put down, see how much monthly you're willing to pay. So then that's like our basis, right? That's our foundation. Mm -hmm. And then we go into like the house. What are you looking for? What do you want? What areas do you want to be in? And we kind of talked about that, right? You're kind yeah. of open. Yeah, we were looking at the map of Phoenix and I was like, I don't even know where to start. You know, my one office for work is in Surprise. One office is out here in Tempe. And that's like... <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> and I currently live in Chandler. So, you know, any, the world is my oyster, it kind of feels like. Yeah. I'd, al I'd almost want to get ahead of a trend if there's an area that's cheaper now, but is probably going to grow in value. That would yeah. be ideal. Is that that's something that you'd look at, like, as a real yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, you can see areas that are kind of growing. How? How do you see that? Um... Hang on, because I gotta think legally for able to say one thing. Hang on. How do you watch the trends, man? <laughs> Just answer it, and then we can worry about legality <laughs> later. Yeah? So, how you look at trends? Like, I mean, you look at is there a lot of people moving into that place, right? Is it still affordable? Are there new like restaurants coming up? Are there new shops? Just all these like little things. Like, what's coming into the area? Are they building up the area? If not. I mean, more than likely, it's going to stay the same, mm -hmm. right? But if areas are like new restaurants, bars, shopping, all this stuff, cool new places like a stadium's coming in, that usually means like this place is going to slowly start to creep up. Do you know stuff like that around Phoenix? Because I know they just built something pretty cool downtown, but I mean, outside of Phoenix, I don't, do you know what I'm talking about? It's like this new area off like Second Street, the Wilb. Uh, Second downtown? Yeah. Well, downtown's it's popping, popping right now. Okay, like yeah. it's, um, it's already kind of known. Because before, if anyone doesn't know about like Phoenix, like, yeah, Phoenix, the downtown wasn't that yeah. special. But it's it's booming now. But for you, I would say, because like, when I showed you the map, it was like everywhere. Mm -hmm. You're like, yeah, I'm good anywhere because you have two offices so far apart. I would say like... Someone like you, once we get the finance in order, right? Like, mm -hmm. we know this is your number. You don't want to go over this much monthly payment wise because that's more important than how much you qualify for. Yeah. I would say, give me your favorite spot, your number one place you would want to be in no matter what. 
do you have a place in mind? Downtown you? Phoenix would be my favorite. Downtown Phoenix. Yeah. So downtown Phoenix, that's your spot. Okay. Yeah. So when we get that number of how much you qualify for and the type of house you want, bachelor pad, you get some mm-hmm. like condo, townhome yeah. you're cool with, we will just look first in that area. Because if we open it up to the whole Phoenix, like Tempe, Peoria, all these places, you're going to get overwhelmed, bro. Yeah. And you're going to be like, damn, it's a lot to choose from. Mm-hmm. So let's start with your favorite place that you want to be. Now, what if there's nothing in downtown Phoenix because it's gotten a little expensive? Where else would you want to go? Uh, uh, North, I don't know, North Phoenix? North Phoenix? Tempe. Tempe or North Phoenix. Okay, so they're Yeah, they're like, different. geographically doesn't matter. It's, I'm just thinking about demographics. Like, I don't want to be around all the old people in surprise, you know? I don't want to be where yeah. youth is happening. I, yeah. I'm not in college anymore, but I liked... You like Tempe to, life. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you don't want a 55 plus community? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I move into a retirement home? Yeah. Day? No. Uh, so that's kind of where we would start, right? Like where you want to be. So Tempe and North Phoenix, those are two good base points once mm-hmm. you speak to your lender and kind of see what So you how want. does that go when I sit down with a lender? How does that conversation go? What happens? You know? Like I'm total version to all this stuff I've never sat down with a lender before what do I what do I do reach out to a lender and say hey what's up <laughs> you just call them and say what's up yeah no you're gonna call well you know you can meet with them call you go to a bank you know what questions do I ask okay so first they're gonna ask you some questions right they're gonna ask you they're gonna run your credit okay. right? you're gonna fill out an application job history all this blah 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 they're gonna come up with like a formula from running your numbers to see what you qualify for. Okay. Questions you should ask, what are their closing costs? And we'll get more in depth offline because it's a lot to go over, but you're gonna have closing costs. Okay. Okay. You wanna ask how much are your estimated closing costs? Because it can vary from lender to lender. Okay. Okay. Second, what is an estimated interest rate? Okay. Because that could change your payment. Yeah. If someone's charging you 6% compared to like 5%, yeah. it's a big deal. So is that, a f- there's a fixed interest rate or a changing one? Like, well, there's, how does that work? Yeah, can, I, can I lock it down, the interest rate? There's fixed, you lock it down once you get in, on the, when you actually put an offer on a house. Okay. So it is fixed, but different lenders offer different, depending on programs, your interest rate could be different. Um, some just charge higher because they want more commission. So Makes sense, like, yeah. um, so you can shop that around too. Like, don't just someone says, "Oh, I'll give you five percent." Talk to three different ones, see who you like, and who has the best deal. Also, who's going to be the best throughout the transaction too. Another question to ask: Ask their availability, because what if on like a Sunday we're out home shopping? you have a question yeah. that I can't answer because it's fi- financial, we need someone who's... Available. Right? Okay, yeah. So, availability, what else? Um, see who's giving, like, I would say, like, kind of sit back and analyze and see who's actually explaining it the best to you. Like, who's actually sitting down and, like, explaining their process, because I can't explain their process because they have their process. And who's like being a teacher rather than like, hey, this is what we could all say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll yeah. offer you this, this. Let's lock it in, you know. Yeah. See who's gonna explain because like you don't know. I need a coach. <laughs> <laughs> you need a you need a lending coach. All right. But yeah, see who's gonna actually like explain it to you. Yeah. Because you don't we don't want to get in a situation where you don't know, and then we put an offer on the house, or you put an offer on the house, and ten days in you're having all these questions. You're not sure what's going on. And, you know, right. so I lock in the lender, right? And then, you know, I made my decision. I'm qualified for two million, million, three million. (laughs) (laughs) No, realistically, you know, my credit. Well, (laughs) yeah. Well, it's just, I I don't know your income and and debt and stuff like that. All right. So I'm qualified for X amount. And then I, you know, I could just go online and find a house, right? Like, why do I need you? You know, what? You don't need me. I don't. Okay. (laughs) Why would Uh, I need you? So you could go like or on any Zillow. Realtor. Yeah, so you go on Zillow, like look for houses. I mean, Zillow is a really good site to search. The only thing with Zillow, like a lot of times, it's not accurate. So you'll see a house, you'll like it, and then it's 
it's not for sale it's gone it's sold but then you also want to go see the house in person so that's when you need a realtor to, to open you, the door to open the door but what about that app open door like or redfin like there's uber of yeah the uber getting, of real estate yeah the uber of real estate so open door anymore. is only for their type of properties so that would mm -hmm. limit you to a lot of houses True. but redfin is a service where it's like an uber you just you see a house you schedule an appointment yeah. They come to show it to you. I think that's how Redfin works. Yeah, yeah. Um, have you checked out Redfin? Is that I, right? Well, know? I haven't been home shopping, but I know mm -hmm. about it, you know? Yeah, watch out for this guy. So, um, Redfin, the reason why you want is because you're going to get a random person to... Like, yeah, to let me in the house and let me do the looking. But what? then, it's not even the random letting you in the house. It's once, let's say you like the house. Yeah. And now you're going to have to put an offer. Okay. It's be a random person representing you on the biggest investment probably maybe not of your life yeah does that make you feel comfortable or it's me representing me but i don't know enough huh i really don't but i could just google it right you know you can how to put in you an can. offer on a home yeah just train myself i guess it would or i could just do a video how to put an offer on your yeah and just <laughs> all right next week we'll do a video how to put in an offer <laughs> yeah. on your own and just x me out of the whole situation no, so like you're gonna have someone that you don't know representing you, bro. That's not good. Yeah, you could have someone you don't know driving you as an Uber somewhere, but you want like a random doctor. Yeah. You kind of you kind of do some research before you go to a doctor. Yeah. Same type of situation. Okay. You know, like how you're gonna pick your lender? You're gonna see who's gonna be the best, not deal wise, because there's no real deals for realtors. Yeah. But who's gonna like explain you the pro explain the process best to you? Who's gonna like make you feel comfortable, that's, you interview realtors. And you should interview realtors. You're interviewing the, the best right now, but um, <laughs> now you should like, you know, see who you like and who's gonna like explain the process the best to you. So you're like an educated buyer and you're not just going off what a realtor says. Battery's dying. Okay. That's a good pausing point. So my battery died, but we were talking about interviewing realtors. Let's see. I don't know, man. Just the whole process. Pick where you want. Find talking to a lender. Interview realtors. See properties. Buy it. And, live in it. You know, That's live it. in it. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. As a consumer, talk to me. What like worries you or concerns you about buying a house? Oh, for me personally, it's the uh, commitment of it. Just that long term of a. You know, with, when I'm renting an apartment, I can just talk to the people at the place and be like, yo, I'm going to yeah. fix my shit. You know? <laughs> yeah. all the, it's responsi dodging responsibility for all yeah. of my life, basically, so far. But I'm sure it would feel good, you know? Yeah, because like, it's your own. Yeah, exactly. Pride, pride of ownership. Yeah. Man. You be, could like throw something through the wall and it's okay because yeah. it's yours. Yeah. But then I have to fix it. You know what? A lot of people think like, oh, it's like a 30-year commitment, which it is technically. It is. Yeah. But you know, like the average is like seven years, five years, people. I believe it, move. yeah. So it's like, I mean, as long as you purchase like smart, where it's like affordable for mm -hmm. you, it's really not a, like, it won't matter what happens with the market. I know we, you asked about the market crashing. Yeah. If you're like, let's just say your max monthly you want to spend is 1500 a month, right? Like, that's like good. Yeah. But let's say you buy something and your payment's 1200 a month. Does it really matter what happens with the market? with the housing market because you're still good like you're yeah. paying that in rent anyway it's the same you're going to pay it in rent yeah. or your mortgage regardless of what's going on with the housing market but then the resale value right like yeah but you just don't have you just don't sell at that time I mean you have to okay, live somewhere yeah. yeah I mean if you're thinking of moving in like two years and you think the market's going to crash I would say don't buy a house right yeah but if you're thinking like right, I'm going to be in here for five six years yeah it's, it's like it's not going to crash for six seven years straight yeah, you know? true. Um, and as long as the payment's good, like, you just ride it out. Mm -hmm. And then, why do you want to buy a house? Uh, well, because renting feels like you're throwing money away. Mm -hmm. um, like, you rent a place and pay whatever, like a, that, a grand a month for a year. And then at the end of that, you're like, oh, well, that's 12 grand that, you know. You just, yeah. Buy. You know, True. um, what else? What, 
why don't I want to buy a house? Is no, that... why do you want to buy a house? Oh, yeah. So financially, I do want to do that so that it's, you know, investing. Um, I also, like, I really don't think I want to. I don't know. I want to... Being tied down is my thing that I say, but, you know, I, I say that and then I don't really yeah. use, use my freedom at all. Like, I, I have no... Nothing tying me down. I don't have any pets. Don't have, you know, family or a house to take care of. And I could just, like up and go and I don't <laughs> you so, feel like tied down yeah. like you tied down your hair and you just let go today <laughs> yeah, you yeah. need to show these people your, your, your free flowing hey, hair man what's up peoples <laughs> <laughs> um yeah no um that's I mean I get it people like it's a big commitment and you're like I want to be free and if something happens you don't want to be worried about this thing to make mm-hmm. your decision right yeah well, I've never been very future oriented. I think that's a super future oriented decision is to invest in a home because it's an investment. It's not a just frivolous thing. It's like, yeah. all right, now I'm committed to being here for at least a couple of years and you know, increasing the value. And yeah, it would be tight to have some passive income. I'd like to get a place and rent it out and have other people pay my mortgage and. And I can, that's even more freedom, honestly. Yeah. Like me, I just talked myself out of not wanting a house yeah. right now. <laughs> Do um, you feel like, because if you guys don't know, he he's Josh's, Joshua Smith's video guy. Do you feel like being around him? Well, you know what? You should, somewhere in this video, mm-hmm. put some of your stuff. You guys want to check out his videos. This one's just us hanging out, but like, do some cool stuff. Um, I don't know if you want to post like your GSD, YouTube, Insta, whatever you yeah, want. Yeah. Put it somewhere. Okay. Right, figure it out. Click, click <laughs> yeah, click, click somewhere. <laughs> you think being around like him because he's like you know, got his stuff together. He's very like. Mm-hmm. You think that's kind of helped you? Definitely a good role model, man. Like that's talk about a boss. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It and it's definitely appealing for sure. Like he owns multiple properties and he even rents out to my buddy Troy. Oh. Which is I know that pretty rad, like to yeah. have multiple, and that's you know, it's growing. He's he, he always says if you're not growing, you're dying. And so, I'd, I'd like to grow, maybe. Yeah, maybe I do want a house, man. <laughs> Let's go buy one right now. Right. <laughs> Let's just go do it. Let's go. <clears throat> Cut. Yeah, that was good. Way to play. Good talk, dude. See you next time, bro. See you.